I have a better plan. I'll marry a wealthy man. Wouldn't that make you gay? Not necessarily. That would be. And I guess I'll just miss her. Even though she is a Spending the night with me, what do you want from my world? You're a good little girl. I'll take you down to my slaughterhouse. I'll go on my death to the top. I'll go up to the mistake.
A sad feeling. Listen to you. It's about to make me mad right here. You this way all the time. Look, man. You are such a nerd. I wish I was a boy. Kill him.
that you wouldn't tell anyone. You promise? I can't believe you lied! You have only yourself to blame. You came to me with your tragic little story. I didn't ask you. decided to go with something new. I've never done a back view pose for decorated sketchbook before. This way the focus will be more on the wings and outfit details than the character's face. I think it creates a nice little bit of contrast especially since the background is very detailed. I usually sketch in pen for my ink drawings, but I decided to experiment a little with color before inking as well. I usually add color after inking but coloring this way the sketch more than just planning for the drawing. This was so fun to do and I love how it turned out. Hello guys! Welcome to Arson's introduction! Arson speaks in third person and is non-binary, cat gender, gay, and scene gender. Oh, also transgender. Arson really, really likes cats, scene core, and gothic! Arson is non-binary, but also cat gender, so please refer to Arson as non-binary. Do not call Arson a boy or a girl, please. Arson also really hates dogs. Arson is self-diagnosed with ADHD, autism, bipolar disorder, and dyslexia. Oh, and DID. Arson is also transracial! Arson was born American, but Arson really thinks they should have been Asian. Arson also is self-diagnosed with d d roar. Sorry, that was my Tourette's. Arson has been studying art since he was six. Arson also really likes My Little Pony, Hello Kitty, and really, 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 really likes Karomi. But Arson really doesn't like South Park. South Park is a racist, homophobic, transphobic, ableist, and zoophilic show. If you watch South Park, you're so ableist, transphobic, homophobic, a zoophile, and a lot more. Do not interact with me if you watch South Park. Arson was also diagnosed with asthma, so you can probably hear him breathing really heavy in the background. 
that's all Arson has to say. So, bye-bye. You can watch the speed pain in the back if you really want to see Arson's character. Okay, tutorial. I can do that. Paper. Pencil. And not a mechanical pencil because mechanical pencils are known to explode. 
For example, look what happens when I just <laughs> step one, circle, step two, line, step three, whatever this is. Nice. Step four, the delicious little ears. Congratulations, you have the basic face shape down. Now on for the body. One, neck. Don't forget the little, the little shading. If it just fo focus the cap. Step I forgot. This will be our collarbone. I know it's very difficult, but I believe in you. The body shape can obviously be differently than what I'm about to do, but I'll just draw what I did for the drawing that you just saw. This shape, this shape, this shape, the exquisite little calf muscles. Now for the arms, you just gotta eat. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, arms are really difficult. I don't like them. I think we should just get rid of arms as a whole. I think that'd be helpful. Shablam! Nice. We got the nice little feetsies. Now for my mortal enemy. The hands. Uh, 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 uh. Nice. Ish. Okay, time to show you how I did it. Bloop, blop, bleep, blarp, blog and schnoff. That's the basic body shape, but whoa. Okay, let me let me fix these legs. Shoo. Shwap. Eek eek. Whap. Okay, now we have the basic thing down. Okay, now on for the detail. Eyeball. Eyeball. Triangle. Ooh. Comment what kind of clothes and hair and everything else you want to see on this beautiful creature. As for the tutorial, I hope you liked it. Now go have fun. Goodbye. Some people even think it's fun to smash pumpkins. I want to raise the money to invest in plastic surgery I want to cover myself at to toe in super sexy scars Cause I mean, aren't you supposed to burn if you're a star? I want to be torn apart excruciatingly I punish my body cause it's not good enough for me The scary thoughts are spreading like a weed The thoughts say that I deserve to bleed I want to take an I think I do. My thoughts while drawing my first alt-series drawing. 
I DK why I've been so obsessed with the alternative style lately. Girly is so pretty, and for what um, um hey, Ash is not a minor TikTok. DW, please if I post this, don't take it down. I might just draw random tattoos on her to make her look cool. I plus it's fun, so why not? I dig her name, yet I want to make her pansexual. P.S. I'm doing that. Fight me, homophobes. Oh, it's Pride Month. Happy Pride Month to me and everyone else. I'm a simp for her because she's so attractive. Literally, I'd get on my knees for her and marry me, my queen. Art Part 2. I accidentally posted this to my story and cried, but anyway. I think I know the trick when doing art. Instead of trying to copy line for line, learn the shapes of the facial features you're referencing, figure out the facial mapping, and then put it all together. If I can do it, you can too. Lied to me. You deceived me. You tried to deceive me. I'm tired of listening to you. You gave me your heart, you know. You'd like me to hand it back whole again. But I won't. You live a long time yet, Catherine, an eternity without me. You will look into the faces of passers-by, hoping for something that will, for an instant, bring me back to you. You will find moonlit nights strangely empty, because when you call my name through them, there will be no answer. that I'm into a sort of alternative punk aesthetic and um, I definitely vibe with that uh, but in our community we talk a lot about revolution and I'm just I'm a little confused are we meaning like a socialist revolution or are we talking about anarchy um, they're kind of like complete opposites so I'm so confused why there's such an overlap in like this aesthetics of it and I'm Help me out a bit here. Please. As always, I start with a circle. Dorito head. Monkey ear. A rectangle for the chest. Square. Tropezium for the waist. Triangle for the crotch area. Circle. 
Circle, circle, neck. Hood leg. Another hoof leg. Two rectangles that are roughly the same size for the arms. Hand. Hand. Hopefully, it helped a bit. To do like a fun little thing where people could like, you know, if you liked to draw me or you thought I looked cool with my pink hair, feel free to draw me and send it to me, and I might use this as my profile picture. Yeah, people, people were gonna get mad at this one. That was just bound to happen, unfortunately. For anyone who doesn't know me, my name is Bowie. I'm an illustrator, and that is a motorcycle. And I can happily explain to you what everyone's issue with this was and how we can avoid it in the future. First things first, though, no hate to Caroline at all. A lot of content creators do this because a lot of them don't know why so many artists take issue with it. So we are here to inform, not to insult. Everything's fine. We're all chill. Let's just get into it. So what Caroline was describing in her video is usually referred to as speculative work or spec work in the art community. So in its barest form, spec work is essentially when companies or brands and now content creators will ask artists and creatives to create content for them in the hopes of some kind of outcome that is perceived to be beneficial to the artist, as in logos or profile pictures in this case, or anything of that sort that is to believe to be beneficial to that artist. A lot of the time, spec work also can involve monetary rewards, and this case did not. Most cases with content creators don't. In my opinion, that is better for the artists in the end for a lot of reasons that aren't relevant to this video, so we're not getting into it. I, if anyone's curious, I can't explain that later, but this case- <laughs>
I wouldn't mind looking at the house again, and maybe looking at you. Really? You like looking at me? Um, yeah. I suppose I do. Well, I like looking at you, too. Yeah. Thanks. For that. I don't want to live in a hole anymore. It makes me feel poor. We are poor, but we're happy. Come see, come sa. Anyway, the views are better above ground. Honey, I'm seven non-fox years old now. My father died at seven and a half. I don't want to live in a hole anymore. And I'm going to do something about it.
bum 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 bottom, bum bum bottom. Bum bottom, bum bum bottom. Bum bottom, bum bum bottom.